and welcome to another weekly vlog. So this morning I am just waiting for my food shopping to arrive. Honestly I had a really bad day yesterday so I am kind of having a looking after myself but keeping myself busy day. Um, so I'm doing my favourite thing and I'm going to actually go to B&M. Um, so that is the plan for today. Like I said, just now I'm waiting for my food shopping to arrive. I carry on my day. I'm actually still in my pyjamas. I am makeup, but still in my pyjamas for now. A rather empty looking fridge. To a rather stocked looking fridge. That looks a lot better now. Love it when it's looking all nice and neat. So before I do my hair and get dressed properly for the day, I am just gonna take Troy for a walk. Um, I'm trying to put my shoe on so he's about to cry at me because he thinks I leave him. See? <laughs> all right on cue. I'm finally dressed and ready to go out now. I am at B&M now and I'm hiding because there's actually somebody in the car next to me. So, <laughs> yeah, you're down there. So let's get going. I've got a list of things. I'm very excited to see what we can find. Not finding a great deal today in here. Have to wait and see when I get home. Love when they get all the summer stuff out finally. So that was a failure. There was like hardly anything in there that I actually wanted. Um, I literally I think picked up four things and two of them are for Troy. So that is just a disaster. I've ordered a um, McDonald's because it's 30% off today if you do it through the app. It's the first time I've done it. So I'm going to go and pick it up through the drive through which I hate doing by myself. But yeah, I think, and then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take it home with me actually today. I have got my McDonald's and I've got a trick to show you as well with the espresso and a vanilla milkshake. The trick is to make like a mocha kind of frappe kind of thing. It's basically a coffee milkshake. What you do is add an espresso shot to your vanilla milkshake and mix it in and you have got a coffee frappe. I saw this first on TikTok and I absolutely love the idea now. I get this pretty much every time. I have the goods. Ever since I've had my car, which is what, about three years now, I've only ever done drive through like twice. Uh, that's because I purposely don't like eating out by myself. It's really weird because I love McDonald's and I just purposely won't get one. They had 30% off and you can just go and pick it through, up through the drive through which makes it obviously so much easier. It was so quick. There was no queue. You read your code out and that's about it. I had an idea today anyway about getting a McDonald's purely because after yesterday's anxiety filled tearful day I wanted to kind of treat myself today and keep myself busy so I was contemplating taking this home and I thought no if I take it home um, I'm just home quicker <laughs> I am home and I am also a little bit annoyed because like I said I usually, whenever I go out anywhere and I'm by myself, I go in the morning and then I'm home for like dinner. And I've gone out and wanted to be like over dinner time so that I could have the McDonald's. Um, anyway, I've just checked and it is it's only 10 to 1. I was hoping for at least 2 o'clock. Um, I've got Troy staring at me because I've literally still just walked through the door. I've still got my shoes on. But I wanted to... Just to clarify that, and I'm also I'm wearing my um, Fitbit, and according to this, I have done only about 400 steps whilst I was out. So I'm a bit annoyed about that too. I was hoping, obviously, for more, um, but that is because when you shop, you take little steps and you do a lot of stopping. So I thought I would show you what I got, seeing as I didn't get a lot. Troy is still all kind of excited for me being home, but in a minute, he's gonna be really happy with me because. Like I said, I got four things and two of them are for Troy. <laughs> I got him lots of treats, purely because at the minute I give him at least like three treats a day. We're going through them quite quickly with me being home. Which one do we want? This one, small ones, or the big ones? This one, good boy. You can tell which one he likes the smell of more. 
so but these are the big ones that usually take him a while to eat through so I, I like getting these ones because it's a good way of keeping him quiet whenever I need to huh? huh? good boy here you go I'm now his favourite for approximately two hours who am I kidding I'm always his favourite Anyway, the other thing I got was a scrub daddy, which I expected to be cheaper in him uh, B and M than Tesco's, and it's actually not. Uh, I think it's like the same price. <laughs> I purposely didn't order it in my food shopping because I thought it'd be cheaper in B and M. Anyway, oh, I didn't realise the smell of lemon. That clean nail was pretty poor today. I don't know if I was specifically looking for anything. Um, but yeah, I did want one of these. I also am looking for a couple more minkids because I have a pack of three. I'm sure it was a pack of three. But I now only have two. <laughs> and they're a bit minging. Um, they've been through the washing machine quite a few times to the point that they're just like falling apart now. So, And the other thing, the only exciting thing I bought was actually something I've had saved on my phone for months. Maybe like a couple of months. And it is this little guy. So it is a plant sprayer. It's one of those things that I probably won't use as a plant sprayer. But it, I think it's just a nice decor item. Especially because the new house has a conservatory. And I think this will look so good in that. Obviously, as you can see, it was only £3. Yes, um, apart from that, it was pretty poor. They, they've just got the garden stuff out. Last time we went a couple of weeks ago, they was just getting stuff out, literally like unpack it whilst we was there. They had some stuff in, but some stuff again not. So I'm a bit disappointed again, because I was looking for a rug, which isn't at our b &M, obviously, because I can't find it anywhere. Garden mirror. I'm also looking out for a garden mirror and they didn't have the one I liked there. They only had the more expensive one, which is also uglier. Anyway, now I get to not do anything for the rest of the afternoon. I had a delivery earlier that I completely forgot to show you and it is Yankee Candle Wax Melts. So, did anybody else know that they have recently changed their packaging? Like, look at this. The weird domes now, they used to just be like the flat ones. Anyway, I'm baffling. I ordered these from Candles Direct because they are cheaper. I have used one already because the packaging's already come apart. So, I thought I'd show you which ones I picked up. So I got six all together, and these three, I believe, are fairly new ones. This is the one I have already used, exotic I say a bowl. That smells amazing. These all smell amazing. Um, Beach Escape is also one of the new ones for this summer and so is Bora Bora Shores. They smell absolutely incredible. Just like nice light, oh, so fresh smelling ones. And look, they're absolutely massive, these domes. And then a couple of these. Midnight Jasmine is not my favorite. I hadn't smelt it before, um, but that's just like an everyday kind of one. I have vanilla cupcake because I am a sucker for anything vanilla scented. And then pink sands just because I love this for springtime. It's quite a girly scent. I love this one for in my car as well. I am loving this little setup I've got in the minute in my coffee table. But under here I have got in this basket all of my wax melts. Oh that can go in the bin now. And yes my wax melts are all rather organised. I have got all of the Yankee Candle ones that are in this kind of packaging. They're all down this side. And these are what they used to look like, the Yankee Candle wax melts, obviously compared to what you've got now. You probably get more in there. I've got, some, I've got quite a few autumn and winter ones. I never got through all these Yankee Candle ones here. There's quite a few, I think there's five. They are all Christmas or autumn scented ones, these Wakefield & Co ones, you've got gingerbread and then my favourite is um, the spiced apple is it? Warm apple and cinnamon and then I've got some independent stores here and these little candles are all Yankee Candle ones and of course the Yankee Candle wick cutter. This is honestly like my favourite thing is my wax milk collection. <laughs> that I'll have to do for now, it looks all relatively neat in 
the order. This is my new favourite iced coffee recipe. I bloomin' love it. For one, I love my Starbucks cup. I think this is so great. Everybody now is apparently really struggling to find this in stores and I'm so glad I bought it when it like first came out. Anyway, um, I start off by adding like a large shot of the Café Cold Brew Coffee. This is extremely strong and is made with almonds. I tried this a few years ago and I think I must have been making it wrong because now I love it. So when I say a shot, I mean like a lot more than a shot. I'm obviously gonna add some vanilla syrup into it as well just to sweeten it up even more, even though it doesn't really need it. So I'm just gonna add a splash. Because this cup is quite um, big, I'm not gonna fully fill it up, but I always use some skim milk. I'm just gonna go up to the top line. As always, you literally just have to do it by taste. I'm actually gonna add some more. <laughs> I like my coffee strong. And that is how I make my at home iced coffee. I would usually add some ice cubes to it, but currently don't have any. So this will just have to do. So I am gonna leave it there for tonight. Um, it's like eight o'clock now and I've got Grey's Anatomy playing, which is basically my night until I go to bed. So I will see you soon. <laughs>